Hey, hello. Welcome to Science Check Chorus. In this video, we are going to learn about classification of matter. As we have already seen about matter, which is having some mass and occupies some space. Now let's see the classification of matter. So, in two ways, we can classify the matter. On the basis of physical state and on the basis of chemical composition. On the basis of physical state, we can divide matter into five. First one is solid, liquid, gas, Bose-Einstein condensate and plasma. So the first thing, solid state, where the particles in the solid state are very tightly packed and in case of liquid state, the particles are loosely packed and in case of gas, the particles are very loosely packed. For example, uh, solid, you can take the this whiteboard, liquid, water, gas, the oxygen, carbon dioxide, all these things comes under gas where it can freely move. But keep one thing in your mind, in all these three states of matter, each atom or each particle present in that particular matter will always vibrate. Even though in solid state, they don't move, but still they vibrate. Now, fourth and fifth, that is Bose-Einstein condensate and plasma. These two states of matter, we generally uh, don't see much of this in our surroundings, but still they too exist. For example, Bose-Einstein condensate. It was found in 1920 by Satyendra Bose and Einstein. That's why it is called as Bose-Einstein particle or Bose-Einstein condensate. So, this in the state of matter, uh, a group of particles, when it is cooled to a particular temperature, called as absolute zero absolute zero which is nothing but zero kelvin so in this case a group of particles are being cooled to zero kelvin which is called as absolute zero so when all when these particles are being cooled to this particular temperature all these particles are clumped together to form a clump or to form a ball kind of thing uh, this particular particle, we call it as Bose-Einstein condensate. Now, in this state, in the zero Kelvin, no movement of particles will be there and there will be no energy in the particular particle. So, that's why it is called as super atom. This is just an overview of what exactly is Bose-Einstein condensate. You will be learning in your higher classes. So, when it comes to plasma, this plasma is also like a gas where this gas consists of only free electrons and ions in it. For example, fluorescent bulb or neon sign boards. In this fluorescent bulb, there will be a gas and when the electricity is passed through this gas, all the electrons from this uh, gas will be stripped off and this gas will be having only electrons and ions in it. So for example, neon. Neon is a gas. When electricity is passed through this neon gas, the electrons from the neon gets stripped off, it moves from it and it becomes as free electron and this neon will become as an ion. And this gas will be glowing when the electricity is passed through it. So this is just an overview about both Einstein condensate and plasma. Now, this solid state, again it is divided into amorphous and crystalline. In the first thing, crystalline. In crystalline state, the particles present in the crystalline state will be having a particular geometric shape or the particles are arranged in a particular arrangement or it is arranged in a proper way. But in case of amorphous substance, the particles are not arranged in a particular manner it is not having a particular geometric shape. For example, amorphous. Example, we can take it uh, glass and uh, we can take it even plastics. In all these things, the particles or the atoms present in gla glass and as well as plastic will not be having a particular geometric shape or it will not be arranged in a fixed pattern. In case of crystalline state, it will be having a particular fixed pattern. For example, sodium chloride, that is salt, common salt, will be having a particular 
fixed pattern of arrangement of atoms so that is what about amorphous and crystalline so all these comes under physical state on the basis of physical state we are classifying the matter the next one is on the basis of chemical composition it can be divided into pure and impure or you can call it as mixture under pure again it is being divided into elements and compounds so before going to this what exactly this pure substances are so pure substances are which you cannot break down into simpler substances again you are having a particular substance you cannot break down that substance into simpler substances again so this pure substances are divided into elements and compounds so elements again it is divided into atomic level and molecular level so with an example if it is an atomic level you can take a gold chain if you are taking a gold chain you will be having gold atoms in that particular gold chain so this gold atoms will be very pure in the in the sense you can you cannot break this gold atoms into again a simpler substance for example you are having a gold chain and you will be having all the gold atoms in it and i have drawn only two gold atoms in this this gold atom will not be depending on this other gold atom this gold atom will be independent of the others so this will come under atomic level so when it comes under molecular level you know that when two or more atoms combine we get a molecule so under molecular level for example if you take nitrogen that is n2 in this case what is happening n is combining with another n and it is forming a molecule so this will come under molecular level okay so under atomic level each and every atom will be independent of others it does not depend on other and you cannot break this atom again into different simpler substances and in this case also again this nitrogen you cannot break down this nitrogen into again simpler substances so this is all about elements now, under compounds again we can divide it as molecular level so what exactly is a compound why we are considering this compound under pure substances the reason is that this compounds are having a definite property and having a definite composition for it so under molecular level you can see it is two or more elements combining to form a molecule so in this case if you are taking sodium chloride which is a compound you can think there are two elements in it so in when you are when we are learning about atomic level you told that like gold is separate and this is not depending on the other element but in this case this nacl as a whole is a pure substance this nacl as a whole is a pure substance because if you are dividing this nacl into na and cl what is this na this is nothing but sodium and what is this cl it is chlorine so as a whole nacl is a pure substance when we are seeing it as a separate element sodium and chlorine this sodium will be having a separate property and this chlorine will be having totally a separate property for example very simple sodium is a metal chlorine is a gas so totally it is different that's why as a whole sodium chloride is a pure substance we are not telling sodium separately and chlorine separately if you are taking it as sodium separately and chlorine separately it comes under elements that is coming under atomic level in this case compounds sodium chloride or if you can take water h2o two hydrogen and one oxygen so hydrogen generally it is a flammable gas and uh, oxygen which supports combustion but when these two are combining you are we are getting a liquid state that is you are getting water so as a whole this is a pure substance and you cannot divide this compounds by any physical methods you can divide only by chemical methods for example nacl can be divided into na plus and cl minus by 
chemical methods not by any of the physical methods it cannot be separated by physical methods so this is all about compounds next is impure or mixture where two or more elements or compounds combined together or physically mixed together that we call it as a impure substance or mixture where you are combining two or more elements or compounds physically that we call it as mixture so under mixture you are having homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture so homogeneous mixture will be having a uniform composition and it you cannot differentiate the two substances or three or more substances which you have mixed it under heterogeneous mixture you can easily distinguish the two or three substances which you have been mixed for example homogeneous mixture salt water you are taking a salt and mixing it with water you are getting a salt solution you cannot uh, differentiate the salt and water in the solution but in case of heterogeneous mixture example oil in water you are pouring oil in water you can easily differentiate oil and water so there are different types of mixtures too in the upcoming videos we will be learning in depth about each and every division under the classification on the basis of chemical composition thank you